Hello and welcome to my deep guide and the big books guide. The tablet itself holds a lot of options but they can be actually sometimes hidden, difficult to find, so the aim of this entire guide and the playlist is to help you get the maximum out of your device. One of the things that I always also do as part of the initial customization setup of a new books device when I get it is to get rid of the default uh, virtual keyboard that it uses and put in Gboard and set up Gboard in a specific way so that I can have optimal performance. The reason why I do that is that simply the default keyboard, while it has nice spacing and all that kind of stuff, it's way too slow. So let me just show an example. This is an example of typing. So it is correct, it is precise, and it's fast enough. But Gboard is actually quite a lot faster than this, and it is a little bit smoother, and it's possible to make it take up less space if that's what you're looking for. Because remember, for some people, um, the large buttons are going to be fine and all that kind of stuff, even though you can actually customize that on Gboard. I'm simply showing you something that I do as a normal thing. Now, in order to do that, we first have to get our Gboard and install it. Installing the Gboard can be a little bit more trickier than uh, yeah, it seems. And I think it's unnecessary because uh, first of all, the first thing that you need to know is that you can download it from two different places. So first one is you can download it from the system app store, which is the books app store. And then you can download it from Google Play. Now, as you'll see, a pattern emerges over time where you actually notice that these are not the same apps and they do not behave in the same way. This is simply because apps that are allowed here are basically optimized for these types of devices and they will behave a little bit differently. But again, you need to be aware of these things. So. It's not the same thing whether you download and install the Gboard from Google Play or from the App Store on the books. In this case, you want to go first to the App Store, not the Google Play, but the tool, the system App Store. Then you go to Tools. And let's speed up the display here to speed mode at least. And then go to the very end and then install the Gboard from here. All right, so once it's installed, you open it up and you go through the initial setup, which is an important one. So the step one is to enable it in settings. And here's something that where people actually get confused, which is uh, why do I have multiple keyboards? Well, in Android environment, you're able to have multiple virtual keyboards uh, enabled at any time, but only one is the default one, which means that you will by default use the default enabled virtual keyboard, but you are allowed to switch between the ones should you choose to do so. So we need to make Gboard an available choice in virtual keyboards for the Android system. And that's the step one that we are doing. So we are enabling it. Now the second one is, all right, which one of the system enabled virtual keyboards do you want to use as a default? So we are using the selecting default input method. And in this case, we want to choose the Gboard. Once that's done, we need to set the permiss permissions to allow it to do whatever it needs to do. And then you can go down, but I do prefer to add additional languages here. And I usually add Norwegian. and Serbian. All right, so now that they are done, I have them done and that's good. So then I can go back. And before I start doing any of these things, there's two things that I want to check out. Now, this is going to be different from yeah the time timeline. So depending on which app you will get version here, the user interface may be a little bit different or the settings, but the procedure should be exactly the same, simply because you might get a newer uh, or an older version in the App Store, depending on what you're running. So the number one thing that I want to double check is to make sure that all right so this version is already optimized some versions are not so you want to double check if you can uh, disable that 
uh, whiten apps background. On some versions, the Gboard that you install from here has that enabled by default. So that's something that you might want to disable. In this one, it's actually already optimized and it has that working as it should. Now, even though I've installed it from the App Store, there's another thing that I want to double check. So once I install it, I want to go to Google Play this time, not App Store, but Google Play. And I want to go to my apps and games and check out my updates. And as you can see, even though we've installed the app from the Onyx App Store, the update for that app is available in the Google Play Store. So in this case, it needs to update it and, and the Google text-to-speech. So I'm just gonna click update both because I do want them both to be updated. All right, so they are updated. I can go back now out of the Google Play. I don't care about Google Play anymore. And now I can continue the setup of my Gboard because the Gboard is uh, able to give you a lot of different options and you can customize it in many, many different ways. So the quickest way for me is just tap on the search button and then type a search. So here we go. We have our uh, Gboard. You will notice that once you tap on uh, Gboard that you have this top row of icons here and we have these shortcuts which are actually quite useful. So the one that I'm interested in is this little gearbox here which is the settings. So if I tap on the settings here I'll be in the settings and uh, the very first thing that you need to know is that you can change your themes and if you don't have the uh, white and app thingy then it's going to show correctly. I prefer the default theme but just so you know you can actually choose a different theme. Let's refresh this and then you can disable key borders, enable key borders and do all this kind of stuff. But for me, I prefer the default here. So I'm just going to go back. Next thing is I want to go to the preferences. Now in the preferences, I want to change a couple of things. I always use my number row. So I do want the number row to be there. I am using multiple languages. So I am going to use the multiple language here. I don't care about browsing emojis. I don't take care about emojis, but they are there should you choose to do that. The one that I'm very much interested in is the keyboard height. So by default, we have the normal height, but you can choose a huge range of heights. So let's go to extra short and see how that looks like. And there we go. So now we have a much shorter uh, keyboard itself, which means smaller input as well. That's something that you have to keep in mind. But I have way more stuff here to kind of choose from, including the numbers themselves. But the main reason why I like Gboard more is this. This is how responsive it actually is. Now, the previous one is good but this one knocks it out of the park. And it's just incredibly responsive, incredibly precise. It has typing suggestions, should you choose to do so, and all of these kind of things. So this is one of the first things that I actually set up because I do want, I do prefer the Gboard if it's set up correctly. Now, the height thing won't work if you install the Gboard from Google Play and update it, even though it will look exactly the same, the height thing won't work. So that's why you have to first install it from the App Store, then update in Google Play Store, and then you'll have the latest version and the height will actually work. Convoluted as hell, yes, but now you know how to do that to actually get the best options. Another great thing about the Gboard is that you have the text to speech and you have to give it permission to actually do that. And once it actually has permission, then I can speak and it will type what I am talking. So this is a really good way for typing or text to speech that actually works very nicely. Now, this one does require constant connection to the internet, but as you will see here, as it's updating, it is extremely, extremely good. And the last thing that I'd like to show you regarding the keyboards themselves is how do you switch between different keyboards? Now, there's many different ways, but for me, the simplest and the absolute straight, most straightforward way is to get into a mode where you're typing. 
Uh, the easiest one is just to go to search in one of the modes. And one thing that you'll notice is that as soon as you have the virtual keyboard, any virtual keyboard appear on the screen, you'll notice this small icon here that says virtual keyboard has appeared. Now, while that's there and while you have this icon, you do a slide down to expand the notifications area. And in the bottom, you will see Android system change keyboard. And once you tap on that, that's a shortcut to that switch that we saw for setting things up. By far, this is way, way simpler and much, much easier to actually get what you want so that you can still switch between different keyboards. And then you can see the differences between these, so how they work. Now, Gboard uh, is just my personal choice. That's something that I personally prefer over the other ones, but you do have these other choices as well. So you have the default Android keyboard that also has similar settings and all that kind of stuff. So I invite you to uh, test out and find which is the best option for you because now you know how to easily switch between the ones that you're using and to choose the one that's best for you. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you've learned something new. If you did, please subscribe and like the video and ding the notification bell thingy to get notified when the new videos are coming out and when the new big books guide chapters are coming out because they will be coming. There's lots more coming. Also, be sure to check back regularly on the big books uh, playlist so that you can, yeah, browse the content and find the answer that you might be looking for there. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy and see you in the next video. Bye.